Hi, welcome to Fighter Training. My name is Paul Lukowski. This is Marcin the Zombie Vorsek. We're coaches at Nottingham MMA, and today we're going to show you some ground techniques. Okay, so first we're going to show you some positions that we use uh, on the ground and in, in grappling, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. So the first position we're going to do is guard, and it's called close guard. So my opponent's on the back, he's got his feet crossed behind me, okay. First thing we want to do is, is build a posture. So, I want to have my toes on the ground, yeah, and my heels back, yeah, and I want to sit back onto my heels. My hands, okay, either want to be on his biceps, yeah, or in his rib cage with my thumbs on top, yeah. Here I want to create a good posture, head up, yeah, so I'm in good control. From Martian's point of view, he wants to have his legs crossed, Okay, and he wants to control my posture as well, so he could use his knees, bring his knees to his chest and control my posture, come over the top of my head. Okay, so that's just a few basic fundamentals of the guard. Next position, half guard. Okay, obviously this is full guard, so Martin's got my whole body. Half guard is when he's got one leg and he's got his legs crossed, again, behind one of my legs. This position. There's lots of different variations, which we'll go through if you keep following the app, okay? But most basic, the guy on top wants to have what we call an underhook, which is underneath this arm, here. And then my other hand is either for base or I control his wrist, okay? This is half guard. And we'll show you later on how to deal with the half guard. Next position, mount. So the opponent's on the back, I've got both my knees over him, and if I can, I'm going to be a little bit higher than normal. My feet against his hips, okay, and I'm postured up. I can use my hands for base. If Martin tries to bump or move, I can use my hands flat to control my body. Next position from here, we're going to do knee on belly. We'll show you some transitions later, okay, but this is the general position. So, knee on belly. I'm going to have my shin and my knee across his belly. And what I do is I use my foot against his hip, nice and tight with no gap. So look, my foot against his hip. Then look, I want my knee to be in line with the middle of his body. From here, the hand nearest to him is going to hug the hip. And my other foot is going to be out for base and balance. Okay, this hand again is used for balance and I can hold positions, I can hold his neck. And this is the knee on belly position. So, this is side control here. I've got one hand underneath his neck, the other hand underneath his arm. And I'm going to control my hands together like so. Again, I'm always on my toes because if I'm not on my toes, I can't push. So onto your toes, use your body weight to push into his. My knee is close up to his hip. This knee underneath this arm. This is the basic side control position. Okay, another few positions that's used on the ground okay is what we call scarf control okay so we've covered side control okay this next position is called modified scarf okay and i've still got this under hook underneath his shoulder and look i'm going to kick out and this is what we call modified scarf modified scarf i'm going to keep my chest low my head low okay later on in the videos i will look at this position and how to control the opponent a little bit better another position that, that you see a lot used okay but we don't we don't like to use this is the normal scarf hold okay or in judo they call it kezakatami okay and it's a position of control the problem and the reason we don't use it in grappling is because it's got a exposed weaknesses for your back okay and this is the position without the underhook over the neck here okay and like i said if you keep watching the apps we'll show you why and how to escape this position and why it's not used so much Okay, and I've always got my back arched in, head up. Yeah, if he tried to pull me in with his knees, look, I've got good posture. Okay, it's going to be very difficult for him to sit up because of where I've got my hands placed. 